Welcome to our breaking news edition of SAU News. I'm Estefania Sanchez. Our weekly newscast is brought to you by the School of Journalism and Communication. In just the last 24 hours, the increasing spread of the coronavirus, or COVID-19, has prompted Southern Adventist University to make some tough decisions. We have a full screen graphic to help break this down. Yesterday, March 12th, Southern officially announced via email that spring break will now be extended for two weeks to March 29th. Classes will resume March 30th. However, in-person instruction has been suspended and all coursework will be moved online or to video platforms for the rest of the semester. All residents living on campus in the dorm or surrounding university-owned apartments will be required to move out before Friday, March 20th. In addition, all public events on campus have been canceled through April 5th, as you can see on the electronic sign along University Drive. And just before we recorded this, University Church Administrator Jay Cole confirmed to SAU News that the annual Easter pageant called Sunrise has been canceled in April. Joining us here in the studio are two students who were scheduled to travel on a spring break mission trip, Rodney Aquino and Delaney Fox. Thanks for being here. We understand that you didn't get word that your trip was canceled until you were actually at the Atlanta airport. So how did that make you feel? What went through your mind when you heard this news? So at least for me, one of the things that I felt um, was a lot of uncertainty because um, originally they hadn't let us know until we were all together, but um, I had received the phone call from Melissa Moore. Um, asking to speak with our sponsors because they weren't picking up their phones and that was the first sign that I knew something was up and that most likely the trip was going to be canceled so at first you know they messaged the group and they're like everyone meet up at this um, certain um, gate and we all met up and there was just a lot of uncertainty I think we all kind of knew what was going to happen once they sent that message out in the group chat so um, so yeah, it was just a lot of sadness and uncertainty. Yeah, for me, um, we were we were literally sitting there in the airport, literally looking at the airplane that we were going to be getting on in just a, a few short hours, and we got the text to meet back at the other terminal, and uh, we were just there, and then we met up with Rodney, and at that time, like he was explaining to us, like he had received a phone call, and me and one of my friends that I was with, she was like, I don't believe you, like. Are you being serious right now? Like, it was just like complete shock. Like, we were so close to making it. Yeah. That's so much information at one time. I imagine it was very overwhelming. So, Delaney, what are your biggest concerns right now? Um, the fact that they were expecting us there and now we're not coming is probably putting a really strenuous um, like decisions on their part and what they're going to like in Rwanda what they're actually going to be doing with their students now that we're not there also um, they just the people who are working with you like in UQuest they've really spent a lot of time actually preparing for us to go and preparing them to receive us and all of their hard work just crumbled in a few short hours and it just it makes me really sad for them it's definitely devastating I understand and um, so with all this news coming out in the last days that we've been here, do you have a plan for the next coming days? What do you guys anticipate happening for yourselves? So when I first received the news, I was like, okay, um, it's time to look ahead now and see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. So since my plans were to go to Rwanda, um, I was like, the immediate, the immediate thought was, okay, I'm gonna go home. Um, but it was a matter of when will I be leaving? And I was kind of suspecting that Southern was going to cancel their classes because many other universities and some schools in the area had already started to shut down. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a couple days until then. So at least for me, um, my plans are to go home, but now my biggest worry is just making sure I pack up and. Um, Making sure that, you know, I can even get to graduate at the end of the semester is really what's on my mind. So yesterday when when, I, when we found out that we weren't going, I'd, I had no idea. Like, it, it didn't really hit me that we weren't going until I got back last night on campus. And it's just like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with my week. And then today when they 
uh, told us that classes were going to be canceled and suspended for the rest of the semester and that we were going to be learning from online. Um, I guess I'm probably just going to go home uh, to North Carolina and be with my family. Um, I don't really know. My plan for the summer were to work at summer camp, so it just depends on how things go with that. And yeah. And do you guys think administrators made the right decision sending everyone home, or do you think they're over exaggerating, or what do you guys think? Um, I think it's the right decision. I mean, um, with spring break being a big thing, um, you have a lot of students who are heading off campus, and regardless if they're flying or driving, um, they still on their way home on, in their in their transit, they may come in contact with someone who has been infected, and. Um, the problem is on the way back, you know, since this is kind of a central hub where we live on this campus, it could just spread like wildfire here on campus and then that'll, that'll be a bigger situation um, than the students are away from home, parents will need to come and it's just kind of very chaotic. So I think before it gets any worse, I think it's good to prevent. Definitely. Well, thank you both for your time. Um, we'll be back with more on this edition of SAU News after this. Welcome back to the breaking news edition of SAU News. We're here in the studio with Tierra Hayes and Paola Mora. Thank you for joining us. Um, Tierra is the managing editor of The Accent and Paola is the editor of The Accent. And we are here to ask you questions about what you guys have been noticing on campus. How are the students reacting to your coverage in The Accent? So tell us a little bit about that, Tierra. Yeah, so when we first started out and when we first got the news that there would be some cancellations or moves, we made sure to put on our Instagram a little box to ask students to have students ask us questions for anything that they needed clarified from administration because we really wanted to serve as kind of a liaison, helping students to be able to just know what's going on and how um, all of the cancellations and things would be personally affecting them. And so we had a lot of students reaching out to us, asking us questions, whether it be about what to do about travel plans or about how the credit system would work based off of um, old information. We kind of just were trying to fill those questions for them. And a lot of students have been really appreciative and reached out to us and been like, we're really glad that you guys um, are able to give us this information. So what does this mean for the accent? Are you guys going to continue publishing editions or are you going to go completely online or what is it? Um, at the moment we're still in plans trying to figure out exactly what the accent will look like while we're not physically in school and so when we have information about that we will make sure that our readers know what we're going to do. So, Paola, along with being the editor of The Accent, you mm -hmm. are also an SAU News reporter <laughs> and you are an international student and mm -hmm. so we wanted to get your take on how you felt when you heard the news that school is being cancelled. Basically, we are being sent back home and to continue mm -hmm. school online. So, how did you feel about that? I mean, like everyone else, I'm devastated. Nobody had planned to go home for the rest of the semester, you know. But I guess it does take an extra toll on international students because home is a lot farther away. My house is around 8,000 miles away from here. <laughs> so we're still trying to figure out how that's going to affect our visas, um, where we're going to stay. The dorm is making us move by um, the March 20th. And I think they're going to be a bit more lenient with international students. They say they're willing to help out and work with us. But we're just trying to figure out where can we stay, where can we go, what happens if we can go home. So it's a bit scary, yeah. So will you guys be keeping us updated with the accent online or is that going to be a challenge since the online is still kind of down? Yeah, so yeah, our, our website unfortunately was actually hacked two weeks ago uh, and they're still on the works of bringing that back up but we are going to be updated for sure, social media accounts and we're on the works of maybe uploading PDF online and maybe bringing back our old website as well. Well, thank you both for your time, and I wish you all the best and good luck. Welcome back to this breaking news edition of SAU News. I'm here in the studio with Brenda Ramos and Katie Castillo. Thank you for joining me, you guys. <laughs> um, you guys are also SAU News reporters, and as you know, this is 
crazy what's going on right now. So Brenda, you are a graduating senior. How has this affected you? Well, um, I was sort of expecting to be able to walk. Um, I don't know whether that's actually gonna happen or not. We still don't have like, you know, solid details. But um, we did have a little, you know, impromptu thing that happened today. It was really nice. <laughs> It feels kind of weird. I've been in college for like six years now, and I feel like I should be able to walk because, you know, I've been in college for a while. Um, try not to get emotional. Try not to. But, yeah, it feels a little weird. It's definitely a very unexpected emotional thing, so yep. I completely understand. <laughs> Katie, you are a commuting student, correct? Mm -hmm. So how does this affect you? The only thing, I mean, I live at home, you know, I don't have to move out of the dorm, so that's really nice. But I'm very stressed about my online classes now, like thinking about graphic design, where I don't have some of the programs in my computer, and the professor would help me a lot in that class. So it's a little, I'm trying to figure things out and trying to retouch my professor. To yeah, definitely. Um, um, Brenda, do you share any of these same concerns? Yeah, actually, um, I have a couple production classes that we have to do a lot of editing and a lot of design. For example, my motion design class, we can mostly do our design on the PCs that we have upstairs, the big Mac computers. But I only have a little tiny laptop that doesn't really render quickly and it doesn't really have, like, just... I, I don't have the technology available to me to be able to do these big projects. And I have some really big projects that are nearing the end of the semester that I have to complete. So I know that that's gonna make it a little difficult to be able to complete those projects for those classes. Yeah, it's definitely something that none of us expected. <laughs> we all thought we were gonna come back from break, but unfortunately that's not the case. But thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. I know it's not easy, and I thank you, and I wish you all the best. Uh, we'll be back after this break with our final word on this SAU News Breaking News Edition. We know you may have many more questions about the days ahead and how Southern will adapt to an online instruction after spring break. We encourage you to log into the university's homepage, where you can check for regular updates. While this breaking news edition of SAU News may be our last broadcast from the TV studio in Brock Hall, it will not be our last newscast of the semester. SAU News will continue in an online format as coordinated by our instructor, Stephen Roof. We look forward to sharing more stories from our students, even if they may not be physically on campus. On behalf of all of our SAU News reporting and production staff, thanks for watching. I'm Estefania Sanchez. See you next time on SAU News.